Amanda from the Fenomenal Home. And I was going to film Worthy Wednesday because I'm actually filming another video for a collab I have coming up on Friday and Rick is going to be in the collab. And I was like, I gotta film my Worthy Wednesday video. And he decided he's gonna hang out with us for Worthy Wednesday. So you can welcome Rick. He has anything to, he has no idea what I'm gonna say. So if he has anything to add, I'm sure he's gonna shoot it out there. So in the meantime, he's just hanging out drinking coffee with us. So anyway, it's Wednesday and that means it's Worthy Wednesday. And on Wednesday, in case you did not know, we talk about why we are worthy of our best efforts. Because a lot of times moms give all their best efforts to the family mm -hmm. and they kind of neglect themselves. But I want to encourage moms to not put themselves last because they have their, they need to treat themselves well. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe it's important for dads today too mm -hmm. because sometimes dads don't take care of themselves. Pat, pat, pat. <laughs> sometimes they neglect themselves too and they really need to put the effort into making sure they take care of themselves. Right. And I didn't intend to say this, but since I got him sitting here, I'm going to put him on the spot and say, maybe there's a dad in your life you could encourage <laughs> to take care of themselves better. Hmm. hmm. What do you think about that, dad? How do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> well, what I mean is dads might neglect themselves too. Maybe the dad in your life is not getting enough sleep. Like someone I know. Oh, you're referring to me. I'm referring to you. You're talking about dads. You're talking about me, dad. Yes, you, dad. I, I, I thought you were talking there's something wrong with my dad. No. I, like, I hope he's okay. <laughs> this one right here. Mm. That's why he's sucking down that coffee. I'm trying to stay awake. <laughs> exactly. He needs some sleep. I'm fine. I'm fine. Hmm. Mm. Oh, my. Look at that. I'm just poking all the little stuff right there. <laughs> He's never going to come out when I make a video again. Coffee lunch. <laughs> Coffee lunch. <laughs> what do you say this is about best friends? <laughs> okay, I'll tell you what, the, what I was really going to talk about before he came out and interrupted me. Okay, I was going to talk to you today about choosing good friends. Because if you've watched our channel this week, you know that it's grown. And there's Nugget jumping on Daddy. She's Daddy's girl. Anyway, <laughs> and I got a pet or two. Anyway, our channel grew a lot this week. And channel growth is great. I love it. Thank you if you're here. You're a blessing to me. I love it. But channel growth comes with the downside. And a lot of that is the negative comments. I've been getting a lot of those. Um, and I, I think I can deal with it fairly well. It doesn't stress me out too much. I, I'm, I'm perfectly comfortable. If you watch any of my videos on negative comments, I'll link one up here. I will delete and I feel fine with that. So I'm only going to deal with it so much and then I just start deleting stuff. Yeah. But anyway, and I am going to answer some. I think I'm going to make a video kind of answering some of the questions that I get all the time, but that's another subject. Anyway, what has been a blessing to me though, is that even when it was kind of getting overwhelming with a lot of negativity, I have really great friends out there mm. who are uh, helpful to me during those times. Mm. And I think a lot of you, you might be experiencing something that um, is overwhelming to you in your life or makes you feel uncomfortable. And wherever you are, you need friends. And I think a lot of moms, he's enjoying hanging out with the cat. <laughs> no choice. <laughs> I think a lot of moms, he's just sitting awkwardly in the background, it's okay. I think a lot of moms, a lot of moms tell me that they don't have enough friendships. You know, the Bible says he who would have friends must show himself friendly. So if you want friends, you're going to have to go out and make them. Mm -hmm. But they could be online friends. I know all the people that we've met on the Frugal Family Food Group. Uh, there's a link in the description box. If you're not there, you need to be there. They are like the biggest encouragement to me in terms of uh, being online and YouTube and my channel and Facebook. I mean, they are constantly there with something encouraging to say. And, you know, of course, Tangi, the caver's wife, my lovely friend, and all these other wonderful people that I've met online, they're always there with encouragement. But in addition to that, I also have my friends in my quote-unquote real life. 
obviously my best friend sitting right here next to me, hanging out with me, uh, petting the cat. <laughs> so, yeah. He's always there with a word of encouragement to help me. Uh, he will actually physically maybe even come over and turn the computer off if it's getting to be too much. And he's not trying to be mean. He's trying to help me to not be stressed. You know what I mean? Um, but I also have, you know, if he's at work or something and I'm feeling down, there are friends that I can call, there are friends that will come over, there are friends that will take me to Sweet Frog. Like, there's just folks that are there in my life that are a blessing to me. And I want to encourage you to find good friends. And I mean good friends. I'm not just talking people who are semi-nice that you meet in public and they're okay. I'm talking good friends good mm -hmm. friends. I have a really good friend last week, as you all know, who I had my follow-up appointment to my surgery, and she actually drove me all the way to Charlotte, which was almost mm -hmm. a two-hour drive, and took me out to lunch, and then drove me back home. I mean, it was like an all-day thing, and she did all of that just because she's a caring, wonderful person. And, you know, friends like that are a treasure. Mm -hmm. They really are. I just want to encourage you to just don't be afraid to lean on your friends because sometimes I think we're afraid to talk to our friends. Like we don't want to tell them about our difficulties. We don't want to put a burden on them. We know they have kids and a home and a family, but you know what? People want to help one another and it's a blessing for them to help. Mm -hmm. And you never know when the Lord's going to give you an opportunity to be a friend back and to turn around and bless them. So anyway, that's what I had this week actually for Worthy Wednesday before I had this guy come and hang out with me in this video. I know he's, <laughs> he just, once you get him on camera, he's just got to be in every video, right? Yeah. Like you'll see him, you know, for probably the next five videos and then all of a sudden he'll disappear again. But <laughs> <laughs> that's just because he was sitting here with Nugget <laughs> while I'm filming. Yeah. So anyway, we are going to go finish up the rest of our day. And I give you the heads up for Frugal Family Food on Friday. It's Amy Fuel, the Fuel Homestead. And she is preparing a wild supper for the last meal of our September harvest month. And then after that, in October, coming up, just so you know, is manly meals. Mm -hmm. And I don't, I don't know if you're doing, there's definitely someone in our household doing the manly meal. I don't know if it will be this man mm -hmm. or one of the young men, but it will be a man doing a manly meal in our household, but we've also got Daniel Arms with Arms Family Homestead. We've got Mike Pratt with Pratt Family Homestead. And of course, Jack the Caver, the husband of Tangi the Caver's wife. So lots of great stuff happening in the coming months, coming time. And of course, I'll have a giveaway soon. I'm working on that. And I don't even know what I'm gonna do about that because every time I think I've got everything planned, the numbers keep growing and it's like, wow, what am I gonna do? So loads of good stuff coming. Friday, I'm going to have two videos. Friday, I'll have my Fundamentally Frugal Friday video, and I will have the collab video, which Rick is going to be a part of, so keep an eye out mm. for that as well. So, I talk in that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> you guys have a wonderful yeah. Wednesday. We're going to go get ready for church, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Bye!